Okay, so I want to give my take on what I think about optimism, pessimism, and neutralism. Now, I myself, as the person that I am, I am, I call myself a neutral person. I don't take sides with anybody. I don't take sides with things. I don't compare myself to. I don't look at myself like I'm better or worse than anyone. I am just a human being. I am just another person on the earth. And I do what I do when I do it because that's what I do. I don't follow any agendas. I don't go with what's popular just because it's something popular. I don't get involved with groups because I want to fit in somewhere with people. And see, the thing with neutralism, I call it the zero percenter, a zero percenter. That's what I call myself. And there are very, 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 very few zero percenters. And, and I'm not, see, when I say this, I'm not saying this because I want to have people against me or I want to be against people. You see what I'm saying? But I know, but I know that, see, optimists are in denial of the bad things and pessimists are poisonous and they don't want to see anything on the bright side of life. And this is why I am not for people that would say I'm an optimist or I'm a pessimist. You know, it's not that I want to have anything against them. It's not that I want to say, oh, well, you're doing that thing and you don't do what I do, so I don't like you or I hate you. But, you know, the truth of the matter is people that are neutral, we can't hack or tolerate people that are optimists all the time and they're just optimistic about everything and they're in denial of real life things that happen and things that need to be said or done and I'm and then the pessimists you know they're a lot of them kind of people they're just they're just always looking at everything on the dark side they're they're just negative about everything they and even though they do they do talk about some truth and the way things are but for anybody to say I'm a pessimistic person, see, I can't, I can't tolerate that. I can't, I can't stand by someone like that. I can't hack being around people like that. It, and it's, see, what, what neutralism is, what a neutral person is, is a metaphorical free-spirited person that does what they do because that's what's in their metaphorical heart and soul and it it's the person that they are through and through and they're not putting on ever they don't smile if they don't want to smile they don't put on the mask when they come around other people you know they they and see there are some neutral people that they're like this but they're not very knowledgeable you see they're they're neutral from things but they're still involving themselves 
in with a lot of ignorant stuff and ignorant people you see they're not they're not actually I was watching this uh, I was watching this special on you know the burning man thing where they go into the desert and they have this you know they have fun they it, it's like a big it's like a big uh, community that comes together in the desert somewhere around California I don't know exactly where but it's it's an amazing thing and these people they kind of are like neutral people but the thing that uh pisses me off and the hypocrisy of it is you got people to say oh yeah i'm for nature and i'm for this and i'm for that but yet you go there and you see trash everywhere you know when they leave they leave all their trash and you know there's some things that, that there's some people there that are responsible there's some people there that are doing uh, the necessary things they have to do and they're taking accountability and they're having fun while they're doing it you see what I'm saying but you know one bad apple always spoils the bunch and if you have 800 people you know there's gonna be eight people there that spoil it for the rest of everybody else because humans always mess something up all the time and see this is why there is no way there is no way that you could possibly have optimist people and pessimistic people get together in a commune or a group of people you know it's neutral people are the best to be together individual thinkers that are neutral from it all are the best people to be together in a group because they're not there to compare one another they're not there to look better than or to play the victim and look less than they're not there for any of those things and you see that's what i am through and through i'm neutral from it all i am away from the thinking of the mainstream i'm away from the how the crowd thinks as a whole and this is why i can't stand i can't stand mob mentality it, it's something i despise i despise it and i'm not for it and there's been a lot of you commenting on my channel lately and see i usually don't answer comments and this is why I wasn't answering comments because you know people they want you to they start wanting you to do what they do and and whatever they're saying for you to be on board with that thing or to do it how they do it and then if you say something that they don't agree with or something then it's this big thing you know it's this big problem and this is why I don't like messing with most people because they are they're too judgmental they're too one-sided they're either too negative and pessimistic or they're too optimistic and they're with these agendas you know they're with the mainstream agendas and they're just optimistic about everything and if you say one thing that they disagree with or you say one thing that seems like it's something that it's not they go crazy they go nuts and i just i i'm not for it at all i'm just completely not for it you know and this is why you know and, and this this is just the way that it is you know i the people that i want here if you're somebody that is optimistic about everything or you're somebody that is pessimistic about everything and you see everything negatively this is not going to be a platform for you it's going to be counterproductive it's not going to be for you so you might as well unsubscribe from this platform this is not a platform for you if you're somebody that you're you're looking for uh this thing where we're comparing each other or um 
you know, let's hop on board with what everybody's doing and all this. I'm, I'm not about none of that stuff. That is, that, I don't even think like that. My mentality is completely gone from that kind of thinking. You know, it, it's what do, what do we do as people and we're not worrying about the world and other people. You know, we're, we worry about what we're doing, but yet we're not so self-absorbed that we can't uh, serve others or reach out to others or to tell others what we feel or what we're going through. But see, we can't expect. See, this is where it goes awry all the time. People expect you to cater to their feelings. They expect you to tell them what they want to hear. They expect you to uh, get on board with whatever they're doing or if you don't, you know, it's just this whole thing with like, tell me what I want to hear. You know, agree with me on everything. And it's all that stuff is, I'm not going to get into it or explain it, but I'm not on board with that or anything you see i i'm a person that if i'm around people that are not doing something for themselves if i'm around people that don't have anything going or they're they're just focused on what i'm doing and they're not doing anything with themselves they have no craft they they're they're not doing something they're not spreading awareness they're not uh you know they're 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 in themselves but yet they're not they're not selfish narcissistic people they are they're giving they say what they need to say but they're not expecting somebody to uh tell them what they want to hear you see these expectations and comparing and this is why i wrote in the the comments comparison is the killer of joy when you compare you're you're just you're 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 destroying the joy that you could have in your life if you would focus on something that that you really like doing and focus on that thing spread the awareness about that thing you see but when we're all focusing on each other and we're all saying, oh, what is he? Is he this or is he that? Or does he do this or does he do that? Is he going to tell me this? Is he going to tell me that? See, you're in a mode of comparing yourself to somebody else. You're saying to someone, well, if you don't do exactly what I do, then, you know, you're this and you're that. Or uh, if you don't tell me what I want to hear, then this and that. And then when you don't do this, people get offended. People get mad. People get angry. People start doing all this crazy stuff. And this is why, this is why I don't reach out more on the internet or YouTube or social media. This is why I hesitated to do this because if I really get brutally honest with people and I start really saying things to them, they're gonna take offense to it. They're they're gonna they're not gonna understand that what I'm saying when I say it is not uh, maliciously saying it. It's not saying it to down them or degrade them. It's saying it because I know I've been there and I can tell them something and they can learn something. But see, the problem is a lot of people, they just don't want to say when they were wrong or they were in denial of something or, you know, they acted a certain way. They can't take it on the head for themselves to recognize that so that we can move on from it so that we can tell each other what we need to say to each other to get past things and to learn from things you see people hold grudges and hate and all these things and they you know right when you say something hold on all right well that almost blew out my eardrums i know that clipped on the audio but yeah so anyway i'm done talking about that that that's not what i want to talk about but 
you know, it's, it's just, you know, optimism to me is, is fakeism and pessimism is bullshit because, you know, it's like, oh, well, let's just see the negative in everything. You know, there's nothing good here. You know, we're all gonna die, so what's the point? Uh, don't do nothing. You know, this is what pessimists are saying. Well, don't do nothing. And this is what a lot of people on YouTube talk about. They say, well, don't do nothing. We're all gonna die anyway, so what's the point? You know, we're all gonna die, and it's just gonna be suffering and pain and misery. And that's bullshit. That's not how life is. You know, yes, there's some people that have things happen and stuff like that but that's not for everyone that's not every single person and when people keep talking like that and talking like that and talking like then you say well this this isn't gonna work like it's just there's no reason for me to be associating myself with people that think like that and it's like if you're not thinking similar to what I do or we're not of a like mind then there's no reason for us to be around each other there's no reason for us to talk to one another there's no reason for us to really do anything with each other besides kind of stay away from one another and you know you can still learn something from someone you know I'm not saying that we still can't learn you know, those who are here to listen to my channel, I understand that and you can stay here and listen to my channel. Those of you who do not want to join the Patreon because you don't want to, you don't want to make a monthly pledge, that's whatever, you know, you don't want to do it, you know, I can't force anybody to do anything and I don't want to force anybody. If it doesn't come natural with me, then it's not going to be if it's not something natural if that person can't understand why i ask for something or why i do what i do then that person then they have to move on from it you know i'm doing what i do you out there need to do what you do that's your life it's not my life i can only live my life and you see when we're so focused on one another it's not a good thing it's a bad thing it's a bad thing and this is why i can't stand and this is why i think i might have this little bit of an autistic side to me because i can't stand when somebody is just strictly all the time focused on me and what i'm doing and they're not doing anything and they don't have anything going it's it, it's like i can't do anything for you you know i can't do nothing for anybody i'm just the guy on youtube going look look and i'm saying some things and i'm coping in some ways and i'm and i'm you know making a little music and i'm doing whatever I do from time to time and and you know a couple other things but it's see when I'm out here I lose train of thought I'm worrying about these cars going by and stuff but yeah it's I'm losing train of thought here so I'll probably end the video but so yeah optimism and pessimism I'm not for either one of them anyone who thinks that way I, I there's just no need we cannot coexist we just can't coexist together there's no way it's impossible because those people have a different mind state they think different they live different you see SBN is a neutral moniker it's a moniker for a way of life it's a moniker for knowledge it's a moniker for responsibility it's a it's a moniker for reminding ourselves what both sides are like you see it's reminding ourselves that there's bullshit and then there's things that are great in the world you see but then you'll have somebody that will comment oh no life is suffering and life is bullshit and life sucks see you're just seeing one side of the picture you're just 
you're stuck on one side of the picture. You're stuck on pessimism or you're stuck on optimism. And most people, I'm sorry to say, are stuck on pessimism. They're just stuck there. You know, they, they just do not want to unstick themselves. And people like that, you know, good luck to you. I, I wish you the best. I really do. I really do. Because why wouldn't I want the best for you if I don't want the best for myself? That doesn't make any sense. You know, I'd be a complete hypocrite if I said anything different. But yo, it's we're alive. We are alive here. So let's live while we're alive. But while we're living, let's live responsibly. Let's do something while we're here. Let's create our own utopias while we're here. Let's uh, cause as less suffering as we can with ourselves and other sentient beings. Let's do something, y'all, and quit sitting around and blaming other people and, and uh, coming at other people and worrying about what other people are doing. It's not doing anybody no good. So that's why I said, that's what I mean by I don't have time for any games no more and I'm not even playing those games. You know, I'm away from that kind of thinking. The only reason I bring it up is because I realize there's a world out there with people that think a certain way and they can't get out of that certain way of thinking. And I'm telling you, the way is neutralism. The way is getting away from the labels. The way is from stop going by ideologies and by all of these things that people go by. It's the extra baggage in your life. It's literally just holding you down. It's keeping you heavy. It's the thousand pound gorilla on your back that most people don't even realize is on their back. They don't even realize that <laughs> most of these things that they think they need it's just things weighing them down it's not things helping them along it's not things helping them cope because they think that they need these certain things that they don't need you gotta let it all go you gotta let it all go and start preparing yourself see this is gonna sound strange but i would start preparing yourself for death i would start preparing because where we are all going to die one day but if you're preparing for it in the meantime if you're preparing your mind to not win see this winning thing is an illusion this the top thing this is the um, this is the mainstream agenda being crammed down your throat you see, this is not what I'm going to tell you about. I'm not going to be telling you about no mainstream shit. You're never going to hear that on this channel. You're never going to hear me just being completely negative. And you're never going to hear me uh, being de delusional or in denial of how things really are. See, you're not going to hear either one from me. But what you will hear from me, you will hear when I'm something's going on up here you're gonna hear it if i fell and stubbed my toe i'm gonna say i stubbed my toe if i'm pissed off at something you're gonna hear that i'm pissed off at something if somebody writes something that is just nonsense and whatever i'm gonna say something and if it's it whatever it is it it is what it is you see, I'm not running behind, I'm not running from nothing or hiding behind anything no more. And this is what a lot of the world still does. They're still, they're still hiding behind themselves. They're still putting on the facade for people. They're still wearing the mask every day. They're still, they're still putting on for people. See, that's their problem. They don't know how to just be with themselves and other people. They gotta put this thing on. Oh, look at me, I'm doing better than everybody. Or look at me, I'm a victim and I'm a loser and I'm, I can't do anything and I, can, and I don't wanna do anything and everything sucks and I hate the world. See, this mentality, this mindset 
is like cancer for your mind your body and your metaphorical soul it's it's liquid cancer in your body that's eating you alive it's eating people up and i can't stand to see people like that it freaking kills me when i see people like that but i know i can't do anything you see i can't do nothing at all all i can do is live my life and be a witness unto myself but i'm not a narcissist and i'm not too selfish yes we're all selfish i am selfish but i'm not i am not uh i am not so self-absorbed that i can't reach out or i can't say something or i can't let my pride down to say what it really is or do what i need to do and see that's what happens with a lot of people they can't let their pride down they can't swallow the wrong pill like i was wrong about something i didn't know something somebody had to correct me and i had to let my pride down they were right i was wrong see and this is what people don't want to do everybody wants to be right everybody wants to be the better person everybody wants to put themselves on a pedestal today in the music in the entertainment world on social media look at me look how good i'm doing look how better i'm doing than everybody look look at my selfie i got all this stuff you see this is literally what the buddha talks about is chasing your desires is causing your suffering chasing the things that you desire is the it is the root of all your suffering i'm not chasing my desires anymore i'm just being myself and i'm doing what i want to do and i'm spreading awareness i'm spreading knowledge i'm spreading the facts of how we could free some of the mental torture in our mind we could free some of those things if we would practice this way of thinking but you see how lately everybody's been shunning it everybody's been running away from it everybody's been getting mad at it people have been uh coming at it but they don't realize that this is the very thing that is going to <laughs> help them along in life but they they're still holding on to all that stuff thinking that it's going to do something for them and i was gonna go i was gonna go off into something else and i forgot what i was gonna say and i wanted to make that point yeah i wanted to make that point so stick with me for a second here if i can remember so yeah pessimism optimism neutralism neutralism is the way and i don't even care if anybody says it isn't being a neutral person is the answer for you as a person not being optimistic not being pessimistic it's being neutral it's not taking any sides it's not proclaiming i'm better than they're worse than this is my ideology and we are the chosen people you know we are the ones that are going to do this and that see that is all a worldly agenda mentality a mainstream mentality that is what is keeping people sick that's what's pe keeping people down that's what's keeping people heavy is that and the neutral being neutral takes that all away <laughs> you you you're not on none of that no more <laughs> you see you're you're going from that thinking but in a, in order to get there <laughs> in order to get there it's gonna it's gonna take it's gonna take looking into you know it's gonna take uh learning it's gonna take research it's gonna take you understanding the condition of mankind and how men and women and agriculture and history and uh people that are in charge politics all of this stuff if you don't understand the the fabric of that or why that is the way that it is 
then more than likely you're not gonna understand this. You're not gonna get it. It's gonna go over your head. When I say something that I say, more than likely you're gonna get offended. You're gonna take it to heart. You're gonna take it wrong. You're gonna take it wrong because we're not willing to admit that the things that I'm talking about are the things that are keeping us the way we are. We just don't understand that yet. We don't have the understanding of that yet. And you see, we're not willing to let our pride down and say, okay, I don't understand. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know uh, what it is that I'm supposed to do or, and I don't want to say it like I'm forcing people. See, it's not like what you're supposed to do. It's what you ought to do for yourself. You know, and, and that's the thing. It's, it's always the barrel analogy. It's always one apple that spoils the whole batch. And these people, these kind of people, they, they poison everything and they poison themselves. And they don't realize when they're poisoning themselves, they're poisoning everybody. And, and that's what I said. If you have one apple out of 99 apples and there's one apple that is bad and spoiled and rotten and hasn't looked into anything and is not doing anything and is a negative person, then they are going to stay like that and then they're going to poison all the other 99 apples. Thank you. And then if you have 800 apples, there's going to be eight people. And then it's just, it's just going to do the same thing, you see? And I'm, I am, I'm very picky. I am somebody, I'm a quality guy. I want the 100 apples to be crisp. I want 100 apples to be ready to be eaten. I want 100 apples that are fresh, that I can eat, that I don't have to worry about being messed up, you see? But then, you know, when somebody doesn't get it, when somebody doesn't get it, then it's like, oh, well, you know, you're the wrong one. You know, you're the guy that's doing this. And, and, and see, it's, it's these people, it's these people that are messing it up for everybody else. And if you can't understand that, then like I said, this is not a platform for you it's I won't even listen to any more of these videos go to if you're somebody that's negative all the time and the volume's probably gonna sound like complete shit because the winds blowing and this microphone's horrible I'm waiting to get a new one right now so if you're somebody that is just pessimistic and negative all the time unsubscribe it's not gonna be for you if you're somebody that is uh, optimistic and you're hoping that everything goes well and you want to be with people that are perfect and all this shit and whatever unsubscribe it's not gonna be for you see we have got to as people as people and we have got to stand for something we have got to stop sitting around and living cowardly and living uh, lazy and, and ignorant and not doing anything and remaining in our own dark hells and not doing anything about it. That's the problem with our world is us. When we say those people, oh, it's those people. Those people are the problem. All these people out here, they're the problem. This bank's the problem. The store's the problem. The worker's the problem. Oh man, this guy coming down the street, he's the problem. No, you are the problem. I am the problem. We all are the problem in one. And that's why it's non-duality. If you don't know what non-duality is, I suggest you go and study that topic. Watch video after video after video after video and keep watching it until you understand it in its totality because we're really not separate. There is no you and me really. It's just us, it's, it's all in all one. There's nothing separate here, nothing, nothing. Not me, not these cars, not the planet, not even the universe is separate. We all are the universe. 
and see every little thing we do is a testament unto what we are doing here with our lives every word you speak every deed you do every time you type a word every time you speak a word every time you make a move every time you act upon something every time you are being a witness you are you are recording your life when you're doing that you're recording all that stuff and most people are completely oblivious to it they have no idea what they're doing they're just going about life oblivious they don't care about nothing they don't care about nobody all they worry about is themselves and what they can get out of it and see that's our problem that's our problem we're not about servitude anymore we're not about uh, serving one another we're not about confronting one another we're not about uh, even if it hurts telling the other person about it see we're not about just saying what it really is and speaking up and stop being so cowardly about things that's our and that's just one problem out of you know thousands of problems here sorry to say but yet again if you're somebody and I know most of you out there know 99% of y'all out there you watch TV you watch the news you're on social media you know agreeing with all the commercials and I need more money more money more money and listen that topic in and of itself is I could do a whole series on it's a whole series on what money is money should be used as a tool not a weapon not to get rich not to do any of those things money should not be used for that and I'm not even gonna get into it because that's just a whole like I said that's a whole other topic but uh hold on I gotta cross the street So yeah, anyway, I'm off that subject. So yeah, it is basically what it comes down to. It comes down to discernment. It comes down to knowing things for ourselves. And see, the thing is, here's another thing before I turn the video off. If you are somebody out there that you are not looking into things for yourself and you're not researching and you're not studying and you're not uh, you're not watching things about history and mankind and agriculture and the human condition and why we are the way we are why we do the things we do like why the mob is the mob and why people you know rich people are the way they are and everything then you're that you know if you don't know you don't know you know what I'm saying well if you don't know well then you don't know it's not well if you don't know now you know no it doesn't happen like that <laughs> it don't happen like that if you don't know you don't know you know it, it's like just hearing one video of somebody talking that doesn't mean that you know we understand what is really going on you know it took me 37 years to understand this stuff it took me 37 long years to come to the point where I'm for sure I'm for sure what I want to do the rest of my life I already have uh, I already kind of have a pre-plan in my mind for what I want to do for what I'm going to do and it I know it's not gonna go I'm not expecting it to go anyway you understand I'm not expecting it to go anyway because it never goes how you expect it you know I thought when I put my art up that everybody was gonna buy it I thought everybody was gonna go to my art channel and buy a shirt and buy a hat and buy all these things it did not happen like that and it doesn't happen like that <laughs> that's an illusion that's a delusion when people think like that they expect everything to go right 
more than likely nine out of 10 things, 19 out of 20 things are gonna go bad before one thing goes right for you. And when we're saying right and wrong, this is even something when you're saying the word right and wrong, it just, it, it's very deep. It's very deep of a subject when we're talking about what's right, what's wrong, who's right, who's wrong. You know, it's, you can't just say a word and it means something. A word can literally mean a thousand things, like a picture can say a thousand words. When somebody sees a picture, they can think, whatever they're thinking about the picture and then if you say a sentence they can they can misinterpret what you're saying if i say something like well how are you doing today uh hold on let me give you a, another example here so you can get what i'm saying well what are you talking about 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 well, what are you talking about? See, there's, there is literally hundreds of way that the person could be saying it. But when we think that they're saying it the way that they're saying it, right away, we think we're right. We think we're right just because we thought that they said, oh, go kick rocks. What if they were just kidding with you? See, we don't, I don't think we get sarcasm either. See, my kind of sarcasm is very misunderstood and misinterpreted. It always has been. It always has been. You know, and I even tell you on my Patreon, the $3 pledge a month, I put on there uh, a Snickers bar will go good with a coffee. Thank you. And I'm not being, I'm not being an asshole. I'm not insulting people. I'm saying, okay, that's worth a Snickers bar. What, what is a Snickers bar? Three or four dollars? You know? Uh, and, and I say, well, that would go good with a coffee. Thank you. It ain't like I'm saying, oh, a Snickers bar. Well, <laughs> that would go good with a coffee. Like, it, it's, I'm, I'm somewhere in between there, you see? I'm somewhere in between that. I'm not being a smart ass and I'm not being so very overly uh, optimistically polite either. You see what I'm saying? I'm in the middle somewhere and it's always misinterpreted. It's always judged in the wrong way. It's always seen for something. This is something that people must understand about me. My whole intention and motive if i even have one is not a malicious one it is not a one to break people down it is not one to get people all messed up it is not to keep people in the dark you know even if it seems like i'm saying that sometimes you have to say things that seem like that but they're not that you see what i'm saying here and if we don't get over this being offended by our feelings or taking something to heart that we might have misinterpreted what i'm what i'm trying to tell people is this channel is not going to be for you it's going to be counterproductive because you're always going to think that i'm saying something about you or i'm uh talking about something that happened in your life and and you're relating that to your story i'm just talking about my own story i'm talking about myself all I know is what I know. All I can see is what I've seen. My experience is my experience, but I know this world. I know how people are. I know how cars, I know how food stores, I know how wars are, I know why they're started, I know who is in charge, the powers that be, the politics behind it, the people that are pushing the agenda with it. I know all about this already. The question is, do you? See, it doesn't matter what I'm, it, it isn't a thing of looking at me, it's for us to look back at ourselves so that we can become neutral, so that we can get away from all this bullshit optimism and bullshit pessimism. And that's what I'm on. It, it's just like the thing with the burning man like I talked about. I want to start my own burning man, but there ain't going to be people there throwing trash everywhere and being irresponsible. 
You know, it's going to be something where we're responsible, where we're accountable, but having fun. It's responsible, accountable, fun, but living, having something to live for, having something that we are excited about doing. And only you out there know that. I can't know that for you. I can't get you excited about something. I can't make you find a craft or a skill. I can't tell you, well, do this thing because I'm saying it. Because ain't nobody listening to that shit nowadays. Yeah, ain't nobody listening to that stuff nowadays. So that's all I can do is keep spreading the awareness about it. And, you know, if people don't understand, don't just say something off the top of your head because you don't understand it. You see, only a fool does things like that. Only a fool just spurts anything out before thinking. So think before we're saying things is all I'm saying here. So I'm going to end the video here. I got to go to the food store. Uh, I don't know if this light's going to turn green or what, but I'm not trying to get hit here doing a YouTube video. So yeah, I'm going to cross the street here because I'm good, so... So yeah, and like I was saying, you know, if you're looking for more content and you're willing to support the platform more, go to the Patreon. You know, it's it's a three, five, ten dollar monthly pledge for a month. You know, I mean, I'm just being honest with everybody, and I'm not I'm not uh, pushing anything on people. I'm not. Uh, being a dick when I say this, but some people buy Starbucks coffee every day for five dollars a cup And then it's like, you know, three dollars five dollars ten dollars for monthly content I mean, it's you know, I mean is that asking a lot from people? I mean and it's those out there that understand when you're somebody that's putting in something to a craft you know, you say to yourself what am I doing this for if you know I'm giving something, I'm giving my time and my effort and I'm giving all these things and then nobody's willing to give anything back. Then I say, well, nobody's appreciating it, nobody's getting any anything from it, nobody's willing to put in their time and effort to give something back. So then I say, well, I'm wasting my time, you know, I'm wasting my time here. And that's just the brutal honest truth. And if people can't handle that and you're just here to listen, then stay here listening. You know, if you're here listening, stay here listening. All that I ask is that you thumbs up and spread the video to other people. Spread the video. Don't just thumbs up the video. Spread the video. Put the videos out there into oblivion. You see, we got to stop keeping stuff to ourselves. That's the problem. You know, we got to stop being selfish. You know, we are in the, the age of selfism, selfishness self-absorption narcissism that's our problem that's why nothing is happening here that's why we're all kind of stuck either in optimism or pessimism and there's no neutrality because nobody is spreading the message of neutrality so nobody can know about it if it's not being spread you know if people ain't hearing it then they can't hear the word so the word is the word and without the word you know, your, your brain, your body does what your brain thinks. Whatever your brain's thinking, the body follows, you see? And I can just tell the way what people are doing, the things they say, the way they act. I can just discern how a lot of people are. And there's very few zero percenters. There's very few people that are, that are neutralists, that are for neutralism. And I say we need a lot more of those people in the world we don't need any more optimists and we don't need any more optimists. we need more people that are neutral that are not taking sides you know that are not doing those kinds of things because if people keep doing that then we're always going to be comparing one another all we're going to keep doing is taking sides and saying i'm right you're wrong i'm a victim i'm a winner there's no winning or losing in this it, it's it's either or and it doesn't do nothing for anybody Neutralism. Neutralism is the way. Being neutral is the way. Not being a winner, not being a loser, not saying I won and you lost, I'm better than, you're worse than. That ain't doing nothing for none of us. 
that ain't doing nothing for the world. It's just keeping the world more sick. It's keeping the world comparing each other. And that's what the killer of joy is. Comparison. Comparison is the killer of joy. Alright y'all, I'm out. Take care. Support the channel. I'm out. Thanks.